Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your mid-September general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer out there in the land, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, go ahead and like it, even before you listen to it. How about that? Put some faith in these cards. Um, make sure you're commenting below. Let's get into it. So, I guess off camera when I was shuffling and meditating, it's Cancer's in the same place they've been in for a while. Wanted to leave, not leaving. Dealing with, you know, fakeness, falsehood, fallacy. Either you doing this or you just maintaining in it um third party situations um yeah just that um some of my cancers are single and um wanting someone to come back or someone's coming back but they might not be the right fit Let's see what's going on Bottom of the deck, the five of pentacles, yeah. Someone's feeling left out. Someone's, it's just not a lot of confidence in self or a situation. Not a lot of confidence in your your financial situation, living situation. I mean, just um, lack here. Void. And that's the part of feeling left out. You or someone else. That's Death card, Ace of Pentacle. Wow. Um, who got that? Virgo. Not in that exact position. Nice. So if you have Virgo in your chart, watch the Virgo video. Um, Four of Cups, the King of Swords, Ace of Wands. King of Wands. All right. Hmm. So there's an ending here if you allow it, but there's also a, a new beginning. There's what you can build upon. Um, For a very long time now this could be in career and finance of course this could be in love and re in relationship this is a general reading it's almost as if the cards are saying if you let one thing die or die out there is blessing in the death of you fill in the blank the death of but there's blessings surrounding an ending. But you can't get here until you you know you allow this to happen. Like I said, once again, cancer is still dealing with with BS. This is what you get when you deal with BS. This is what you get if you can be if you can get in control of it. It looks as if someone has you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is typically Aquarius or Libra. Could be one of the three. Cancer can't see what they have in this person because they're too either engulfed in maybe a third party situation or they're too comfortable here. It's comfortable being in mess. But can you actually take the blessing? Look at that. Oh, wow. The blessing. It's the same hand. The blessing from the heavens. 
and actually do something with it. Because, you know, aces come, but and you don't have to take them. You, you choose to do nothing with it. Or will you continue to stay in the, in the fate, in the falsehood of, 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 of life and act as if you're married when you're not? You're absolutely miserable. It's funny that cancer feels as if they're hiding it. I'm feeling like the people around you, friend, family, whomever, person you're dealing with, they know exactly how you feel. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign that's not taken to any of your advances anymore, which is leaving you feeling less than and, and shut out. Some of you have a fire sign or you're coming up as a fire sign who is completely after sexual activity or physical activity, fun, pleasure, whatever you want to deem it as. They want. It's the affirmation of the King of Wands. I want. I want. King of Swords. I know. This, this king knows something to the point where they're either not dealing with you and they have cut things off or vice versa you you know this is you cancer or um this king is exacting truth they want truth they want clarity they want fairness and and justice and if you can't give that they no longer want to deal in the the third party the mess whatever mess it may be they want you to see them for who they are they are the ace of pentacles Look, a cup, a pentacle. You won't let something die, either an old way of, of dealing with this person or this entity or this job, whatever. You won't let an old way die so that newness can come in. Some of you are just looking at the carnality of a situation and not seeing how foundational, how emotional emotionally fulfilling it could be or is right. let's get some angel answers in here trust and that's exactly what you have to do here trust that that in leaving one situation could be anything there is abundance there is blessing there is newness Forgiveness, wow. I think that's what you have to go to this person with or for or vice versa. Someone has to do that with you, Cancer. You can get more information. Get more, in yeah, this fire sign is coming in. Get more information. What do you want? Just basically flat out ask him, what do you want, sir? What do you want, ma'am? What What do you want? You know, some people just want nothing but to waste your time. You know, just want to come around and waste more time, more in energy. You know, you should charge them. Shit. Uh, big happy changes at the bottom of the deck. And that's what this is. Trust that this could be big, happy changes for you. Right. Um, okay, so. Let's do a yes or no spread. Just to, so people know how this works. Because the yes or no spread is... Um, Because on my website, you can find this $10. It's just three cards pull. If you have a yes or no question, you know, will he come back? Will she come back? Will they call? Will we be together? Will they get a divorce? Will whatever. So we're going to ask the cards.
it looks like cancer wants to know will this change be fruitful will it be joyous let's ask the cards there's a lot of fright there's a lot of fear fear based uh action see when you're met with real and you've dealt with fake for so long it, it scares you and it takes you back to fear and a fearful person would go back to the carnality of a situation they want to stay in in the lower realm of what a relationship is or what a what career path they should take they they want to stay in what is um complacent or not complacent but what is comfortable and they want to stay in complacency and not move to the next level and accept what um what a person or what an, uh, a job entity whatever is really in their lives for and what is there to teach them so come out of fear and accept, you know, um, accept this for what it is. Hang on. These cards. Okay. If cancer makes changes, now keep in mind this is a general. We're, we're doing a yes or no spread for, for uh, millions of cancers. So, you know, take it as you will. Well, cancers changes that they make in their lives be fruitful abundant these cards don't want to talk okay maybe maybe not will this ending provide cancer with too many sorry guys Claire will this ending provide cancer with abundance and stability it looks like will this ending provide cancer with abundance with abundance and stability about time all right i think i have to get the question clear the cards were like oh what are you asking me again yeah. <laughs> okay we have a no, not right now. Um, abandoned ship. Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands in reverse. It looks like somebody has completely walked away from taking their energy away from um, this situation. Maybe it's you, Cancer, or the other person because the lovers in reverse. Someone was refusing to make a decision. It might be a situation where it's just too too little too late all right so the and it's the general energy so if it don't resonate with you don't resonate all right take it leave it whatever all right let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here and let's and let's move on let's get to some goodness body changes Courage. Yeah, you have to have that. You have to be courageous in going after what it is you want to go after. Because at the bottom of the deck, we do have big happy changes for some of my cancers out there. Could be you. Could be you. But you have to be courageous. Hobbies. Uh, for some of you, there's been a. Uh, you, you may have monetized a hobby. You're really good at it. It's bringing you um, lots of good energy and money relationship dynamics the bottom of the deck gracefully aging okay um body changes gracefully aging somewhere in between there needs to be a new exercise program you might even need to go get a checkup in regards to your health and well-being um okay that's that we'll start with relationship dynamics someone has entered exited the relationship emotions feelings are stirred to the point where the dynamic of the relationship has changed you see somebody doesn't want to play in the sand with you anymore 
They're saying, no, no, no. Understand I'm a real thing. And you could be saying it's cancer to someone else. And or someone is just not taken to any advances here. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, they're done. You might have missed. The, the ship has sailed. Okay. Um, the dynamic of that relationship has altered. It may have been one way in the beginning. Like. You guys were friends and friends with benefits and blah, 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 and all that stuff. And then it morphed into maybe by way of time, um, people aging up and not down, uh, people getting more mature and understanding what it is they offered any relationship and, and uh, what they want. So now the dynamic has changed. You know, it can't just be about the carnality. Or, or the carnal, the pleasure of the, the relationship. You got to rise above. The, the vibration has uh, has um, risen, you know, gracefully aging. This not only talks about, okay, the outward appearance. Of course, we all, we all want to keep up with ourselves outwardly. But what about your inner work? What, what inner work have you done, Cancer, if any? If you still think the same way. 10 years ago about this about uh situations that have obviously morphed and changed because it's 10 years later um are you really gracefully aging are you maturing with the time and with the age and with the 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 energy of of, of whatever you're in you know like some of y'all been in some real false BS for a long time and you just keep staying there and it's like if you like it I love it but your reading has you there every 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 month but anyway um cancer this is your reading I'm I'm hoping and wishing and praying that you you do some of you do take to that trust that the universe has your back on that and then that's beautiful ending beautiful new beginning um, watch out for some of these these people. Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Relationship dynamics. It's, it's changed. You've grown, Cancer. You don't just want to, you know, have sex with somebody. Once you get old enough, anyway, having sex with people you don't, you barely even like, it sucks. Anyhow, I was like, this is not even enjoyable. Like, I I can barely stomach you. I'm here because. I have very little option. Anyway, <laughs> take care, Cancer. Um, I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Uh, it's a Friday night. I'm about to call it quits and have a drink. Take care, guys. Um, all of my information is below if you want to get a personal reading. Um, I've added some new readings to the site dating advice a relationship counseling and go over to the site look around uh be friends of the site um thank you guys take care